What is up guys, back with another video. Uh, this is going to be a Season 3 item tier list. Now this is for the month, pretty much the month of April. So if any of these items do get reworked or anything in the future, just keep that in mind. Um, this is the, the update that's live right now before the Corvus, the patch of the Corvus, uh, Darkness and Dragons. So keep that in mind if you guys depend on when you guys are watching this video. But I've been getting a lot of requests to do an item tier list. And I'm kind of waiting for the next update to really go live before I really do anything else. At least video wise. So I think right now is probably the best time more than ever to get this tier list out of the way. Um, then it's more of a highly requested video. So if we get this video to 10 likes, that'd be absolutely great. If you're new, subscribe. That'd be great as well. And share the video really helps me out. Honestly, all the support on the channel recently been absolutely insane. Really appreciate it. We're gonna hop right into this S. You're gonna pick is our items that you're gonna that are like your most essential items. You're gonna be picking every game, no matter what, pretty much. A's are gonna be your most common items. You're gonna be picking out these these items most games. B more situational items. Depends on other like the other teams, champions, uh, comp, or something like that, etc. Um, C you're almost never going to beat picking these items apart from like maybe one or two things. D, garbage, never picked the item in the game. We're going to start out and get D out of the way. Veteran, worst item in the game. No reason at all to ever pick it. If you pick Veteran, you're throwing the game. And it's actually a bannable offense in my honest opinion. I think anybody that picks Veteran in, in a ranked game should be honestly banned. Um, no matter if it was a... I know there's some times where you, you click over an item and... Uh, it accidentally buys the item, so you try buying Rejuvenate and you actually click on Veteran. I still think that's a bannable offense. Veteran is a throw. Worst item in the game. Does nothing. Absolute garbage. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the real tier list. Um, we we'll start with Cauterize. Uh, Cauterize, even with the nerf, um, if it, with it being, I think, 75% now instead of 90 uh, it's still essential. You're gonna get want to get like caught two, caught three, um, pretty much every champion. Uh, if you're playing the game, it's just an essential item. You're gonna be picking it in every game. Best item in the game. Now I don't really know what else to say about it, just because it's kind of very straightforward. Um, Wrecker. I think Wrecker right now. If you would ask me before Wrecker got reworked. Um, to, before it was it was absolutely nerfed to shit. I'd say Wrecker is probably most one of the more of essential items. I say right now it's more of a situational item. Only time I would really pick Wrecker is if, if your team has like a really heavy shield comp with something like a Fernando Khan or something with that has like a lot of shields. Maybe something like a Torvald. Even Torvald doesn't have that much shields anymore. You really don't even need to pick Wrecker to kill him. You just, just pick a good damage champion and just, just go to town because. Honestly, you really don't even need Wrecker for Torvald anymore. Um, that's the only reason I'd really pick it. Or if you're, you're struggling with like a certain tank, and maybe like a con that's constantly going after you, you pick up like Wrecker 1, Wrecker 2, just to deal with a certain like threat. Maybe you can pick Wrecker, but I would not say it's essential um, in like on your item slot anymore, pretty much. Now, before the rework, I'd say it probably would probably be right beside Cauterize as, as the best item in the game, but not anymore. Last shields, I wouldn't say it's bad. It's just more situational. If your team, hit, you're going against like a more of like a blaster heavy um, type team, stuff like Drogos, Pip, uh, stuff like that. Dredge, it's great for tanks versus Dredge. It's kind of just more situational. I don't think it's really as common, just because there's a lot more direct damage champions in the game than there are blasters. So I say it's a. I'm actually gonna put it C, just because. I think it's more of a really extremely situational pick. The only reason I would really pick it is if you're like a tank and you're going against like a double blaster con with like Drogos, Pip, or Dredge, Drogos, something like that. I don't know. Or if you're just trying to go against and you're trying to 1v1, you're something that's supposed to take out the blasters or whatever. If you're like a flank and you keep dying the damage, then I guess it's, it's decent to have. Bulldozer C. They nerfed the absolute shit out of Bulldozer. Um, the only reason you're going to be picking Bulldozer is if, say, if your opponent has a an aisle, only one person on your team needs to pick Bulldozer, and I wouldn't even say maxing it out unless you really need to, or save it for your last, like, 
last ditch item to like max out with your credits um, as your last priority. Bulldozer's garbage. It's not even really worth a pick for versus something like an Amani Dragon or anything like that anymore. I think the only really use it has currently is for like an Io's Dog and maybe if you're like a tank and you're really struggling with Anara's Cripple and get, getting rid of some of Anara's deployables or like barrier turrets or stuff like that or like maybe like Yin clones. I don't know. I don't even think Bulldozer is really worth just for those types of things. Only really want like want to have one of your DPS characters pick it up. Maybe at like level level one, level two. Honestly, not worth. Kronos. I actually think Kronos right now is probably one of the best items you can pick on pretty much almost any champion. Um, granted, there's some champions that use it a lot better than like other champions. For example, I, I think I don't really think Kronos is good on like something like a Victor or stuff like that. But the majority of the champions in the game can benefit in some way from Kronos, and them reducing the, the cost from 400 down to 300 just makes it so much better, especially with, for things like healers, things like that really benefit from Kronos, like Furia, Genos, um, a lot of those types of healers. I just think Kronos right now is one of, probably one of the better choices for items, one of the best choices on like most champions. Like I said, there's some champions that use it a lot better that are more cooldown oriented. And I just like direct damage and orientated. Like I said, you won't really be picking out something like a Victor or maybe like a Vivian, but if you're like a tank with like pretty large cooldowns like uh Nara, Fernando, Kronos is great for with Fernando, even Khan, I can see Kronos being great. It is good for with a lot of the frontline champions currently and majority of the champs in the game. Really good pick. And a lot of the supports in the game as well. Deft hands. Situational. The only champions I would actually use Deft Hands on are, are maybe like a, uh, a Dredge, um, Combat Medic Pip, maybe Damba as like a filler item. If you're not running like a Stun Talent or the uh, Snake Toss Talent. And I think that's pretty much it I really use on. I don't know. It's kind of one of those items where you kind of just throw it on like a last ditch effort. Maybe on a Koga once in a while. I, I personally myself sometimes use Deft Hands on Koga just because it it works decently well if you're going against like a pretty heavy sustain comp or like a really beefy comp. I don't know. Kind of one of those last ditch items where you pick it up as your fourth item and you don't like max it out until you're way late in the game if you do pick it anyways. But it don't, it's not worth a first pick. Definitely isn't it. Don't be one of those noobs that that's like level ten and, and picks Victor and then picks uh Deft Hands two at the start of the game or Deft Hands one and then goes into Deft Hands two at the start of the game and then wonders why he can't get any kills. Don't be one of those people. Haven, I'm gonna put out a B. I think it's more of a common type of damage in the game, just because a lot of champions in the game do more direct damage than blaster damage. But I think it's still a more situational item. I think it's one of those items where you pick up at like a three or four in your item slot. Overall, it's a solid item. Um, Illuminate, I'm going to put Illuminate at a B. The only time you're going to be using Illuminate is if you're going against Strix, Sky, Ceres, and maybe Shaolin. Apart from that, you're never going to be choosing Illuminate. It's only versus those mainly two champions. Even with Ceres on the other team, you're not really going to be picking Illuminate for her. It's just not worth so mainly for you're only gonna be picking it versus two got two heroes in the games. I was gonna say gods, but I guess heroes um, and champions in the game, so then it got nerfed, so you kinda need to stack it to two to really pretty much get the same effect as it was before it got reworked. I don't know, I still think it's situational. Heal to heal A. I think it's more one of those items where you pick it up as a it's a decent item. And then you put it as a three or four item. Um, I think, especially with the cauterized nerves, I think kill the heal is a lot better. Uh, especially if more of one of those three or four type items. Life rip. B. The only champion to really picking life rip bomb is maybe something that has like a lot of ammo. It's, it's decent on Koga. I'll give it that. It's decent on things like Koga, Vivian. Um, Victor, even though he has ready built in life steal and do his loadouts. Um, it's decent on Talus if you're not running life steal on his loadout. 
Um, a few other champions, I guess, if you're it's constantly shooting, you're going to be getting a decent amount of lifesteal. But I really don't think it's worth on most champions in the game. It's only just, it's kind of situational for like a handful of like champions. I wouldn't really say it's that good either. Just because a lot of the champions in the game already have like built in lifesteal on a lot of their loadouts. Master Riding, probably the only other item in the game that I probably put it as like an essential. You can pick this with pretty much no drawbacks every game. Um, it being a 200 item now and being a max of 600 for Master Riding 3 and having pretty much the same effect, absolutely great. It, it's great on supports. You have to pick it on supports pretty much every time now. Um, before it got the price change, I would say it's, you can pick it pretty much more every game. Pretty much if I'm playing sport right now, at least currently in Season 3, I'm maxing out my Coronals. Um, I'm going to get Master Riding and I'm going to get uh, Cauterized. Those are my main three items I'm going to get more for support. Master Riding, you can be, you can get pretty much with any champion. Damage, flank, whatever you want. want. I think it's viable for pretty much anything. Probably the right beside Cauterized is probably the best item in the game currently. Morale Boost A. Now, they did they did nerf the charge. Of morale boost, but I thought I still think it's a really solid item, especially when you have those alts that you really want to keep up, like like Victor, um, Tyra, Vivian, those champions that do a lot of damage. Really 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 clean kills. Um, it's great on flank champions as well. Um, for supported champions, things like Furia, um, Genos, it's great on as like a third or fourth buy. Overall, just a really solid item, really good item. Nimble, couldn't put Nimble out an A. I think Nimble right now is one of those better items as well. Um, they reduce the cost down to 150 and have it being 150 per level, so being a max of 450 credits. Um, it's, it's absolutely great. I really like being able to move faster for a less cost, pretty much. It's a really good item. Really good pick if you decide to build it. Juvenate, I'm going to put it at an A. I think... Rejuvenate, even though it did get nerfed to a max of 15% this season, I think I still think it's one of the best better items in the game. Compared to like all the other items below it, I think it's still one of the better items. And a resilience. Now, granted, they nerfed the absolute shit out of resilience to the point where you have to pretty much buy a resilience two or resilience three to get like some type of effect out of it. But there's so much CC in the game. At least currently, in slows and stuns, that I think I think resilience is still a top tier pick, especially if you're going against stuff like con stun, um, Anara cripple, um, a lot of slows, things like pit bolt, just to name a few, may vault, um, Genos grab. I don't know, just to name name a few examples of what's good for. I uh, just good for so much stuff. Dom bolt is another one. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of this tier list in the comment section down below. What is your guys' tier list? Would it be similar to this? Would it be different? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you're new, subscribe. And I'll uh, share the video. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guys in a future video. Thanks for watching.